Uh, good this, stuff, is a, this is a good game, isn't it? This yeah. is a good one. You know, I, I suppose... Well, I was going to say the Germans' favourites here. I'm not sure. Oh, it's going to be a tough game now. I'm, I'm literally at Stansted Airport. I'm on a on a chartered flight with 300 West Ham fans and I'm looking forward to getting across there and watching the game. But I think we're all just... I'm mean, just talking to me pals and that. I think we just want to be in the game come the second leg next Thursday. I mean, there's nothing worse, is there? You know, play a first leg, get wallop four or five nil, and then, of course, everyone turns up next week with not a lot to play for but I yeah. think you know even if West Ham lose the game it's, you know you lose 1-0 2-1 it's not a problem and let's not forget they lost to Seville two years ago 1-0 out yeah. in Seville and then they won 2-0 at the end of the second leg so you know just putting a good performance but it, it's made for Moyes isn't it Al it's, it's, it's one of those set soak up it up, soak it up, soak exactly. up exactly yeah. mind you know Jared yeah. Bowen though is there no, no Yarra Bowen and uh, Alvarez is missing as well. He's suspended, so the two of our key players are missing, you know. I mean, you've still got Kudus, you've still got Antonio playing, still got Paqueta. So, well, you know, yeah. West Ham will be a threat on the on the yeah. counter-attack, but, you know, they've got to defend properly. And, you know, you've already said about Leverkusen. I mean, what a season they've had under Xavi Alonso. They've been flying, mate. Listen, uh, Tony, tell me about Paqueta, man. I, 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 he's one of these players really easy on the eye. I think he's a great watch. Oh, Ellie, he's brilliant. He's, he, it took him a while to settle in. I think first six months, I think he was getting used to the pace, the physicality of uh, the Premier League, which a lot of uh, you know, the foreign boys do. It does take a while for him to settle in general. And, you know, but since then, he's been fantastic. And he, he's just got that star quality. I mean, he's, he sees passes, you know, the, just the through ball for, for Jarrah Bowen to, you know, when they won the Conference League in the final, the through ball. No, no one else would have put that pass through to him. You know, he just, he's a wonderful player to watch. And, uh, you know, he, he, you just got to get him on the ball. And that's the thing, you know, you don't want him drifting out of the game, you know, as much as you can tonight, you can get him on the ball and he makes things happen. Just looking at it, Tony, um, some great teams left in the tournament. I'm looking at the other games there, Milan, Roma, Obviously, you're off to Germany, Benfica, Marseille, Liverpool, Atalanta. I mean, it's top class now, isn't it? It's a real deal. It is, yeah. I mean, I think the, the conference league for West Ham last season, it was almost a, a competition as as for Villa this year, you know, where you almost expect them to go and win. I, I know there's no such thing, but you, you think they've got a real good chance. But you look at those teams in the Europa League quarterfinals, you know, if West Ham can get through this game, they've got to play Milan or Roma. And then if you get through that game Ooh. in the semi, you're possibly yeah. or probably going to play Liverpool in the final. So, you know, if, if West Ham do win the tournament, they certainly deserve it this season. But it's, it's going to be hard for the boys because, you know, there are some real good teams left in. So if West Ham can get through this one, where does that put Moisey? Do you know what I mean? I'm looking at the table here and I'm thinking... Um, is, people are still not sure, are they, about Davy Moyes, West Ham fans? Some say, oh, he's doing a good job. Others are saying, nah, too negative. We we, 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 we want to play the West Ham way. We want to take t teams apart in London. But when you look at it and you think of the teams that are above them, how, how, are they, how, how can they do any better? Well, exactly, Al. Unless, unless someone comes into the club and, you know, pumps half a billion quid into it, which I don't even think you can do that nowadays. You look at Newcastle trying to spend their money, you know, so... You know, what more can Moisey do? You know, I mean, I, I, I understand the, the counter argument, you know, obviously the style of football and, you know, sometimes the substitutes. I understand all the sort of negative points that people would point out. But the thing is with Moisey, you know, I, 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 I've said this before, I blame the ball. They should have given him a contract. After he won the conference, they give him a four year contract and then you wouldn't have all this nonsense about a manager out of contract at the yeah. end of the season. And yeah. and if, if, you know, it's all right. West Ham tried it before that. They had David Moyes and oh, let's get a so called top class manager. They get Pellegrini in, who was hopeless, by the way. And then they then get David Moyes back. And it'd be the same now. If you if you get rid of Moisey, who do you replace him with? No. You know, that no one can ever come up with a name that's going to do better than what Moisey's done. He's done brilliant. You know, for West Ham to be seventh, to be in the quarterfinals, to be playing Europe for three years running, you have to yeah. look at the stats sometimes. Yeah. And, you know, he's done brilliant, Moise. He's done really, really good. But I do get the counter arguments when fans talk about it. So, Tony, uh, how, how long is the flight? Is it Northern Germany, Leverkusen? I don't know if I've ever been Leverkusen. Yeah, we're, we're flying to Cologne now. Right, and, okay. Uh, Leverkusen's so about, yeah, it's about 15 miles north of Cologne, I think. So, we're staying in Cologne overnight. And, you know, it's, Al, do you know what? I didn't really experience it as a player. I played 15 minutes for, when I was at Leicester against Atletico Madrid. That was all I played in Europe. So, yeah. you know, when West Ham got in Europe two years ago, it was great for me. I, you know, I've, I've been doing it the last three seasons. And you get on the plane, all the boys having a laugh Brilliant. and a joke and having oh. Oh, it's point. magic. It's TC, fantastic, I'm going to tell you, mate, as decisions go, you've made a proper one because 
Cologne is miles better than Leverkusen as a city. There you are. Uh, so the boys thanks, have made a, the boys have made uh, a great decision, TC. I was there. I'm looking I was forward. There, I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to it. Semi-final. Yeah. Uh, 60, oh, what a team 000, you had! What a team you 20, had! Sixty thousand full yeah. house, and I always remember looking at it. Tony Woodcock was up front. Rainer yep. Bonhoff was at the back, oh. right? Schumacher yep. was in, in goal. Lebowski. <laughs> well, he was the one. This, yeah, yeah. This, this little bandy guy in the wing. Who's this fella? He Pierre was a Lebowski. electric. He was some Lebowski. player. Lebowski. And Big Lofty yeah. turned up 1-0. We beat them. It was brilliant. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. You, you can't beat European football, Alan. And I'm just so pleased for the West Ham fans because it's been a long time for them. They've been long-suffering for 40-odd years. And I think all the boys, there'll be probably four or 5,000 out brilliant. there, not all of them having tickets. And, you know, I'm so pleased for the fans because, you know, it's a great football club and the fans deserve a little bit of success. Yeah. It will be, even if we get knocked out against Leverkusen, they've had the taste of Europe and it's great for the fans. Tony, enjoy Magic, it, Tony, enjoy well, it, mate. I will do. Have a Cheers, boys. Speak to you. Have a great Half the Rose and uh, Shenfield will be empty. Old Harry the Grass and a few of the boys will be on the plane now, <laughs> heading out to Germany Great tip to for get the boys, on. Isn't it? Oh, magic! Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil, Thursday and Friday morning, six till ten on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.